now. Tell me they did what I think they did. Oh no. This no weather radio station is temporarily off the air. You really have to do this with a friend over? Weather the radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This is ridiculous. This no weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather and they ended that one. The current time is 6, 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Synopsis, dry Saharan dust Are in the middle of the atmosphere Ruskin? will keep rain chances on the low side through Friday. The moisture and storms return over the weekend ahead of a weak cold front that stalls in Well, that wasn't meant to happen. The current time is 6, 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Well, of course they failed. Synopsis. <laughs> now I have to wait for the test again. Uh. Microphone. Finally, Rustin can test properly. Of course, I failed. But yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you suck. You suck. Two six. Now Melrose cells and testing is 6 to 21. There's an SPS for the lane, but you can literally see that thing moved. It, it moved. It moved. It's sentient. Let's go off. Oh, it did. Cool. This is go up, but this went off. It's super quiet. Sick. Nice job, Ruskin. You finally fixed your stupid friggin' mic. <sighs> Let's see if Melbourne tests. Okay, 261. She's got to scare me like that, huh? Jesus Christ, Melbourne. Receivers are activated by the signal to warn of severe weather. Station KIH 2016 Daytona Beach. Warning alerts. 
will be activating for Volusia, Flagler, Putnam, Lake, Seminole, Brevard, and Orange Counties. For Station KI-863 in Orlando, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Lake, Orange, Osceola, Polk, Seminole, and Volusia Counties. For Station WXG-70 in Melbourne, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Indian River, Orange, and Osceola Counties. For Station WWS-61 in Fort Pierce, warning alerts will be activated for Indian River, Martin, Okeechobee, and St. Lucie Counties. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Public Warning System. We now return to the regular broadcast program. This hazardous weather outlook is... Uh, why? I swear I put that thing on freaking And yes, while Melbourne testing at almost 7.15 p.m. is ridiculous, just wait and see what they did about a day or two later at 3 in the morning to the surprise of me and a bunch of other people in the Melbourne CWA. So, uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Additional details. At 3.32 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, local law enforcement reported heavy rain in the warned area due to thunderstorms. Flooding is already occurring. Between 3 and 5 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral, Merritt Island, Patrick Air Force Base, Port Canaveral, and Jetty Park. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash Flood turnaround, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. What the heck? The forecast for the Orlando NOAA weather radio listening area. No freaking way. Hold on. There is no freaking way. Melbourne just pulled a flood warning. Oh, no freaking way. I'm just... Yeah, my phone was super low on battery. And it took forever to grab that. No way. Hold on, let me just show you all this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Melbourne. <sighs> of course, I missed a good amount of it, but oh my gosh. <sighs>